How to make auto summaries in Notion. Wait, that's that's too much. Uh, auto summaries in Notion. You will need two databases. You will also need a button. This will automate your workflows so that you don't have to add a bunch of pages to each database. Let's start by inserting two columns with the command slash two column or slash two col. Next, we're gonna insert two databases, one in each column with the command slash inline. Let's call the first one our summary. This is going to be our summary database and the second one log. This is where all of our data is going to be stored. For this example, we are going to be using a runner's journal that is going to track the dates and distances in miles that we have ran each day. Now that we have our data entered, let's call this page summary and let's get rid of the other two because we don't need them. Next, we are going to edit the default tags property. We are going to instead create a relation property. We are going to relate it to our log and click add relation. I've named it log just to make things simple. Next thing we're gonna do is link our existing pages. You won't have to do this if you are creating this template from scratch, but this is just to showcase what this template does and how it works. Next, we're gonna create a new property, a rollup. This property is the information that we want to grab from our second database in our summary database. So let's select the relation that we just created. Our property that we're gonna roll up is the distance property. You can see now that the rollup contains the values from the distance property in our second database. These are the values that we are going to be summarizing, and this is where the power of Notion really shines. Let's create a new property, a formula. We're gonna use this formula to create all of our summaries. So let's start with total distance, plus rollup, dot sum, parentheses. Any function that you can use with a list property can be used. So you have your minimum, your maximum, your sum, the median, or the mean. Next, we're going to create two new lines with the regular expression backslash n. And we're going to enter an average distance rollup.mean and max distance rollup.max. You can see our info property now contains three summaries instead of one that our original log database would allow without the second database. But this doesn't really look so good. So let's change our layout to a gallery. We're gonna change our card preview to none, our card size to small. We are not gonna show the page icon or the database title Unfortunately, you cannot remove the name property, so we're just going to show the info property instead. And there you have it. But we want to make our workflow automatic. That is the goal. So we are going to add a button. This will automate our workflow and make everything run smoothly. We are going to add an action. That first action is going to be to add a page to our log database. Our pages are named run, so we're gonna say run. We're gonna edit the date to be today's date. Whenever the button is clicked, the page will appear with today's date. Next, we're going to edit pages in our summary database. The default is to edit all pages and it would work because we only have one page, but I like to make sure that everything is working properly. So we're gonna say edit pages that contain the name summary. 
we're going to edit the property log. The default is to replace, but we want to add the new page that we just added in our log database. So here's what happens when we hit the button right now. Two pages are immediately created, one in our log, one in our summary, both with the values that we need to roll up to make the summaries work. Lastly, we are going to add another step and we're going to open the new page that we just added so that we can enter in our data right when we click on the button. Now we don't have to scroll all the way down if you have a large database just to find the last entry. So let's click on our button and see the workflow in action. Our new page opens up. It is added to both databases. We can enter our distance and close out of the page to see that our summaries have indeed updated. Now the thing about averages is they use division and sometimes the decimal numbers that are returned can be a little funky. So we're going to go back into this formula and round that out so it looks better. Enclose your rollup.mean function with parentheses. We're going to use the function round. The inner value we're going to multiply by 100 and the outer value outside of the parentheses we're going to divide by 100. Using 100 in this way we'll round that number to two decimal places. Now this looks good, but it's not very stylish. So let's add some style variables, color it up, make the font bold. I also like to add tabs to make it look like there's two columns inside of this property. So we're going to use the regular expression backslash T to create tabs. This will give it a nice and spaced out look. So there you have it. Your auto summary is aesthetically pleasing and informative at the same time. Our button allows for automated workflows, so all we gotta do is hit that button, enter the data, and it automatically updates. If you like this video and you're interested in learning how to auto summarize with more than one property, you can look at my advanced auto summaries video on YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Happy notioning!